team is looking into the state's looming mandatory vaccination deadlines after the governor called up the National Guard to help with possible staff shortages in prisons. But as our chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka uncovered, with hundreds of corrections officers about to lose their jobs, some say the system could be pushed into chaos. Let's show you the actual order so you can see that, and I'll start the tape again. This is the governor's order he signed. I don't even know if this shit's legal. I think it's illegal under our due process. But anyways. And you can pause it on your thing. Getting a prison under control after a riot like this one requires the kind of training that correction officers say National Guard personnel do not have. All due respect to the men and women of the National Guard, um, we have highly trained correction officers that have worked through the pandemic for 18 months, and now to say 50% of them are going to be terminated, it, it's, it's not right, it's not fair. On Tuesday, anticipating a number of correction officers would fail to meet the October 17th deadline for mandatory vaccination, Governor Baker activated 250 troops to help staff potential shortages at state prisons. It could be for many, many months, if, if not longer, and that's very concerning. Correction officers play such a critical role making sure there's, there's safety uh, in our prisons. The union tells the I-team approximately half of all correction officers, or about 1,500, have not provided proof of vaccine to the state. And many of those who have requested an exemption have yet to have hearings. Looking to stop the firing process, the union is heading to federal court. What do you hope will happen? Is to halt this mandate so we can work through some of these details. We don't want to see uh, militarization of our prisons. We don't want to see 1,500 of our members fired. Uh, we don't think that the state is prepared for the impacts that this is going to have inside the prison system. We're looking for a pause so we can work out some of these details. The state says the National Guard will start training this week, but will not be inside the prisons. Rather, we'll be providing transportation and outside security. But long term, potentially losing half of all correction officers is a concern. Correction officers, again, playing that critical role, um, really need to rethink, um, for a lot of them, their resistance to getting vaccinated. And that's the only solution to get out of what is approaching to be a crisis in Massachusetts. And the Department of Corrections says the governor's order for the National Guard does not have an end date and will continue as long as needed. The department also says it has the ability to move other staff into the prisons, bring back retired correction officers, and has an academy class scheduled for January. David, Lisa? It's just crazy, right? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Liberal Massachusetts is a figment of people's imagination. You can believe that. Fucking dictatorship is here.